So I recently watched Meet the Beavers at the Durban Gay and Lesbian Film Festival 2016 at the KZN And Meet the Beavers is a documentary about Camp Beaverton, which is a camp which forms part of Burning Man, um, the massive collection of people in the, I want to say, Nevada desert. Uh, in the States every year, and this particular year it was filmed in 2012. And Camp Beaverton is a safe space for women, um, or people who identify themselves as women, and um, also more specifically people who are lesbian, or women who, people who identify as women and who identify as lesbian. Um, I may have missed out some classifications there, um, and so I apologise for that if I have. Uh, but that's kind of um, the general idea. And it tracks and it tells Camp Beaverton's story, and the beavers are uh, the ladies that are there. Uh, they refer to themselves as the beavers. And the documentary tells the story of uh, not only how those camps started, but uh, more interestingly, why they're there, what they try and do. Um, some of their big events, uh, the strap on a thon, or strap along on a thon. Uh, and even more interestingly than that, and I think this is uh, why I enjoy documentary so much, is it looked at um, different people that were there in particular, uh, and it followed some of their stories. And really what for me clinched this is just being like, because obviously when you learn something new that you don't know about, it's, it's interesting to find that out. But what really was the cherry on the top for me in this uh, documentary was to see how they had transitioned. To hear these women who um, at the beginning had one particular idea, either about themselves or about the camp or about um, Burning Man uh, as a whole, and then at the end when they, and they get interviewed the whole way through, but there's right near the end when like the emotions are running the highest and uh, people are about to leave, that they have that time to reflect. And that reflection uh, is the most interesting part for me in seeing that transition. Meet the Beavers is um, a really well shot film, it, uh, documentary. It uh, gives you insight into something that you wouldn't ordinarily have engaged with. and. Interestingly, it doesn't just look at, at Burning Man, but it looks at a very specific uh, community within Burning Man Festival and how they exist and interact uh, with the greater festival as a whole. But more importantly, and as I said, more interestingly, it comes down to the individuals and their, and their story. Uh, it also looks at um, Beth Nelson, who was a co-director, uh, writer, and editor. Uh, again, I may be leaving a few <laughs> jobs out. Um, and it also looks at her experience and what she went into the festival expecting and what she found at the end and uh, some of her revelations and thoughts, uh, which is also really interesting um, to hear and see. Uh, but even more awesome was that I got to interview Beth after the viewing and here's that. Uh, where did the idea come from? What got you interested? Um, and how did you go about making the film? Okay, well, um, Anna Grill, my co-director, she had camped with Camp Beaverton before, and she kind of knew about them and was had been keen for some time to, to make a documentary. And so we kind of, uh, we met at Frameline Film Festival in San Francisco. She's been their festival photographer for years. And uh, we met at, actually, Cheryl Dunye's after party. And um, we just started talking about documentary and how much we love it, and then uh, formed a friendship. And, and she was getting ready to go to Burning Man, and then invited me. And then pretty much pre-production took place in my truck on route to Burning Man. We didn't know exactly what we would get because you know it's a very tricky thing to film people that may not necessarily want to be on camera. So we kind of had to spend a lot of time with the viewers as much as you can during a short event like that and um, get to know them and um, and then yeah I, I went home with um, many hours of footage and I um, transcribed all the interviews myself so I kind of knew knew what it was because I, I was going to be doing the editing and it took me about nine months to, to kind of edit it and looking for themes you know 
know, as you can see, there's like a relationship themes, relationship styles, uh, safe sex, and, and just trying to find different themes where we could try to put it all together and then um, my personal story and using my narration to kind of have a thread throughout the film. And, yeah. uh, so, I mean, that's always the difficult part, the stuff that gets left on the floor. Is there anything that you wish you could have put in there or anything that you thought you would get and ended up not getting or deciding something else would be more interesting? Yeah, the only thing I kind of wish, I mean, because it's such a, it's a, it's, I see it as kind of a, a, it's a portrait of the camp in a sense. Um, we didn't get a lot of B-roll. Um, I don't, I can't say uh, I regret that because it was out of respect for, for Camp Beaverton. Um, but, um, no, I think we, we, um, did a pretty good job of getting everything in there that we really wanted to use. Um, so I was pretty happy with it. it was, I was pulling my hair out for a very long time, but when you finally crack it and you can make it go together, then it's a very exciting, exciting thing that happens. Uh, and then what's the response been like from the Beavers? Oh, they're so happy with it. They were really nervous. Yeah. Uh, opening night was a sold out crowd in San Francisco at the Frameline International Film Festival. And they were they were so nervous. And because we didn't let them see it, which was I know is a little bit unusual, but I think um, I knew that we weren't gonna, you know, violate their trust or anything, but they didn't entirely they weren't entirely they just didn't know what we were gonna do with, with and they didn't even remember everything that they had said to us, so um, you know, because everything's all crazy there, and, and um, but I remember I was sitting behind the, the mayor, then Foxy, and um, she turned around, and she had tears in her eyes, and she just said, thank you so much, and, and I mean, now they're, they're pretty famous, I mean, I've traveled all over the globe with this film, I, I spent three months in, in Europe alone, just going from festival to festival, and I mean, people love the Beavers, and they just get so many from, from different people all over just saying thank you so much. I never, I never knew there was somebody that was, you know, they'll say things like, I didn't know that people were so deep like me and I thought I was only one. And like, just the fact that we've done that service for people and, and made them feel like, no, you know, what you want, what you desire, how you want to your body, how you want to express yourself, that, that's, that's you, that's human, like, be yourself. Yeah. Uh, and then lastly, where to for you? Yes. When I get home, I have a lot of work to do. I'm, I'm going straight to editing, I'm cutting some videos. Um, we're in post-production of a documentary called At Your Cervix. So it's basically the ways in which uh, medical students and midwives um, or nurses are learning gynecology. So it's kind of a woman's health piece. Um, it's been in the making for quite a while now, but it's time to finish it. So getting that done when I get back. Cool. Meet the Beavers is a really well put together documentary that has so many different stories, angles, themes, characters to tell that there's really something for anyone in there. Uh, you don't need, I am not a Burning Man person, um, but I enjoyed it. Uh, and I enjoyed it because of the stories that it tell and you may watch it and find something um, completely different that you'll enjoy. But a really good documentary and a good documentary for um, this festival. There's only a few more days left of the Durban Gay and Lesbian Film Festival 2016, so if you are in Durban, you have no excuse not to come and watch some of the amazing movies that are being shown here. But for now, I'm Matthew, and this has been the Critics' Review of Meet the Beavers at the Durban Gay and Lesbian Film Festival 2016.